my sweet 61. Um, let's have a bit of out. Yes, yeah, out. That's why it sounded so nice. Little musket ball. Alright guys, I've got to get this one on film, this is a bit of the old buckle I think. A real clean sound of 72, but it didn't sound particularly, particularly large. Um, Here we go. What is it? Oh, just a bit of scrap. Right numbers, right tone. Like I say, not particularly loud. But it is just a tiny little bit of scrap by the looks of it. 85. A clean 85. Nice line. Um, not particularly loud again, so probably something tiny. Oh, there it is. I can see something hiding in the soil there. Roundish. Oh, I thought that was going to be a nice little coin. Never mind. This came in at 92. There you go. Sixty-seven. Reasonably clean. A bit louder than the last couple. Pinpoint now. Round. Round, round, round. Button. A blinking button. And he is a Maximus or something. That's exactly the same line that we've been following the last couple of days we've been here. There you go, guys. Just heard that over the radio. Um, the other guys are up there, right on top and of the hill. It's the same coin that Leo found. There we go, we've had um, a few Romans out and apparently on the same line. Well, not the same coin. Obviously not the same coin, as you well, get a conversation you know, on the radio. So, long story is, we've got a little patch over there where the other guys are. Uh, a few Roman bits come out and now uh, a few more coins. Um, Maximus, uh, similar to the ones we've had on a couple of previous visits. So clearly, a lot of uh, Roman history on this one. Apart from they're getting it, and I'm not. This was a uh, 89. Went up to 92. I think it's at this club by the looks of it. Yep. Just about to see it in here. Oh. What is that? I don't know, trading weight is it? It's shaped this side and the opposite side. It's flat. 
Ah, interesting. Happy days. On to the next one. Hi guys, Big T again. Just dug his hole. I'm having one hell of a day because this lovely little Roman just popped out the hole. Unfortunately, it has been clipped, but still, it's a bloody lovely coin. See you on the next hole. Well, that was a strange one, guys. Had two or three clean hits, but they were like jumping between the like late 60s and the mid 80s. Flung it out, and I can see straight away. Let's try and get the sun on it. I can see straight away. Definitely looked like a coin. Toasty, to yeah, it is Roman. Yeah, so that's sort of laying there. And then, I don't know if you can see it in there. There's one there, and another one just in there. Um, so it looked like a... Looked like a bit of a... I think there might be one. Oh yeah. And there. It's like a little, uh, little coin spill, maybe. Right. Um, and there as well. Don't know if that one is definitely a coin, something there. Right, let's clean this lot up, see what we got. Super, hang on a minute, we'll get back to you. Right guys, I pulled it out. I haven't started going through it all yet because we had multiple hits in that in that area there. Um, called the other lads over, Gord to come over. He's literally, as you can see, like stones throw away, a couple of meters. Um, and he's got multiple hits going on as well by the sounds of it. So we'll just see. See what he has. Right, we're having a closer look uh, in here. And we've got a fibula at the bottom there. Um, one there in the side wall, definitely. One there, but I can't see it on the camera, but I can see it with me. Oh. In there. On the edge, one there. Uh, one. Breaking through the soil just there. So what we'll do now is we'll have a nice little tidy up and just see. And one in the side, oh we've done that one in the side wall there, I think that's it. Oh, and maybe one just in there, I'm not quite sure. What we're going to do now though is get them all out and see what we've actually got. Right, 